spent the last day or so hanging out here in Moab. Uh, mostly just getting the ski video all ready to go, which, well, by the time you guys are seeing this, has already been released, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Anyway, tonight I'm just gonna drive into Arches. Right now it's about six o'clock. Planning on maybe going to Delicate Arch or doing some kind of hike, and hopefully I'll just kind of stay out there through sunset, the night, and sunrise. Hopefully get some good shots. Nobody home. It's amazing. It is six thirty. The sun is pretty close to setting. And it's still so crowded here. Well, I guess most people are hopefully leaving soon, so might as well just go. That's pretty sweet. Well, sunset ended up being kind of a bust. There's a pretty big cloud bank blocking the nice light from hitting all the rocks. And even if it were nice, it'd be so hard to shoot just because there's so many people crawling all around. Maybe you could Photoshop them out or something, but it'd be it'd be tough. There were some really nice colorful clouds in the opposite direction from the arch, but they're pretty far away, so I had to take out the zoom lens and didn't really have a whole lot of foreground to play with, but still kind of cool. Crowds are definitely thinning out a little bit now though, so just kind of scoping out what might work out for some good night shots, and I think at sunrise also it'll definitely be a lot less crowded than now at sunset, so. Should be a good night out here. Hopefully I can take home something nice. All geared up for the night. Just came down here into the big bowl. It's below the arch. A, it's a nice view. As far as the uh, photo composition, I like how sort of the different uh, strata, I guess, in the rock kind of make a nice sort of curling in lines. And then you got the arch up there. It, it, it's kind of like a daunting shot, you know, you definitely go vertical on this one. But it, it's cool. Um, it's still just kind of the tail end of blue hour, so I'm gonna wait a little bit until some stars come out and then try to maybe get a shot here with the wide angle or something. Trying to go headlampless tonight, keep my eyes nice and fresh. Settings on this guy, going ISO 800, so keeping it pretty noise free. F4, wide as the aperture will go, and five second shutter, because it's not totally dark yet, so I don't need to keep it open for that long. It's looking nice, I like it. some weird flashing light down there. It almost looks like some sort of camera. That is, that is strange. That last shot had some nice clouds in it, but it was still a little bit too light out for there to be good stars. I kind of want a mix of clouds and stars. Now it's dark enough for there to be stars, and there are but all the clouds left, so. I'm gonna wait for some clouds to come back, and then, it, well, hopefully they do, and then I'll shoot it again. It's 
Some clouds finally came in. It's about 11 o'clock now. And it looks like they're being slightly backlit by the rising moon, which is pretty cool. Um, it's totally dark now though, so gotta crank up the settings. Uh, still going F4, but now 30 seconds and ISO 6400. Moon is all risen now. It's about 2 a.m. Just took a pretty long time lapse of the moon rising that ultimately didn't really work. Uh, but it's all right. I think I'm just gonna head back up to sort of the main viewpoint. Maybe nap, maybe take some more photos. Who knows? made it back up here to the uh, main viewpoint area and it's kind of a bummer because there's there really is a, a pretty nice wide angle composition with just kind of the whole scene you got some nice mountains in the background but I don't I don't know if I'm just bad at taking these types of shots but when the moon is really bright I just don't like the way they look it's really really contrasty and I don't know the colors just generally don't look that great in my opinion so I think I'll probably just wait it out until sunrise. So I'll see you guys in about four-ish hours. About a half hour from sunrise now. Ended up having to spend a couple hours just kind of pacing around this little ledge to try to stay warm. Admittedly though, it, it was pretty nice to have the whole place here to myself. Uh, Imagine that's pretty rare considering how popular this place is. I'm pretty tired and I kind of want to get out of here but obviously stuck around for sunrise because I also want to shoot it. Um, so I'm just going to try to take some pretty simple compositions uh, as the sun starts to come up over the horizon. There were some amazing clouds that would have been so perfect for sunrise like two hours ago in the night but they're all gone now and it's clear. Oh well. On the way back down now, this episode is now over because I need to go to sleep. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.